All right, we'd like to take a look at the SNOMS 360 soft phone. Normally, I am reviewing new technology, and in this case, I am reviewing, doing a video review of a soft phone that actually is already outdated, but it is it has such interesting features, I thought I should give it some air time. SNOM 360 soft phone. This is a free soft phone that SNOM had been uh, giving away and uh, since then they stopped supporting it but the product works and uh, I thought some people in the industry would have an interest in seeing some of the features on the SNOM 360. First of all you'll notice that the SNOM 360 soft phone looks just like the phone, the physical phone. Buttons are laid out the same. Um, it's a SNOM 360 in a software version. You'll notice the message waiting indicator blinking. The BLF buttons work like just on like they do on a 360, um, which is unique in soft phones as far as I know, that you can you can define all these buttons to show the presence of another phone. For example, if I walk to this other phone over here and just make a call, you can see it lights up and shows the status of another phone in the office here. Um, it also has a record button, which is somewhat unique to SNOM and is used by 3CX. PBX and SIP and probably other uh, phones or phone vendors, P PBX vendors. Uh, it also you can configure all you can configure all the function keys. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But to dial uh, in on the soft phone side, the, the keys all work. So if I want to see you know missed calls, I can just click on here and see those. So the buttons work just like the physical phone. If I want to make a call, I can dial 101 and hit enter. And then I can pick it up. And if I want to hang up, I just hit the escape key and it hangs it up. So you can really use the phone from your PC, just like you should be able to. It has a speaker phone, of course. Uh, one thing that's nice is you can define what is the audio or, or the, the voice or the uh, call audio device and what is the ringer device separately. You can of course change the change the audio level or the ringer and the handset volume. Uh, of course you have the hold button just like the SNOM phone does. Um, you can uh, let's we can place a call 302 we can pick it up we can we can put the call on hold. We could make another call, outgoing call. And you can do that with as many lines as you set up. Pick that call up again, hang it up. So um, it's very robust in that it can handle multi multiple uh, calls easily. I you could do you could do hardly anybody does more than three, but you can handle as as many calls as you have buttons here if you really want to. Um, of course, there's a mute button, there's a conference button, so you can have multi-way calls. There's a do not disturb button. We also have the call record button, which, once again, is unique to uh, the SNOM phones. As far as I know, there might be some others that do that. Redial button. We talked about the voicemail indicator that's blinking up here. We have a retrieve voicemail button. These are all standard three, uh, SNOM 360 features, but some of them maybe not as not as uh, common on free soft phone. Um, we also, of course, have the missed calls, you know, all that stuff. Like on a, on a, on a, there's eight rings that come with it. You can define your rings. Once again, we talked about the BLF that can be assigned. These buttons can be assigned quite a few different things. And the web interface. We click on the button here. Then we have a web interface that we can totally configure the phone. We have an address book. We can dial dial calls from the web UI. Uh, we have pre uh, preferences that we can configure here, and there's just a ton of them, like uh, rings for different types of people. We have speed dials we can set up. We have function keys. We were talking about the assignable function keys. All the keys are <laughs> configurable, as far as I know. and down here you can see how we set up a BLF to watch another phone. Um, and you can have another thing quite powerful 
not usually on a free soft phone, up to 12 identities, up to 12 SIP registrations. Uh, we have action URL settings, so you can have uh, an action URL fired on a certain event in the phone. Uh, advanced settings, all kinds of settings. I, probably the most configurable soft phone that's available. Then down here in status we have the log, so you can log events about what's happening. And another thing, SIP trace. You can actually see the SIP trace for the phone, so you can debug things ha that are happening. So a very powerful little soft phone. It's free, it's not supported, but it is downloadable. It's old, but I guess with SNOM old, uh, SNOM has lots of features, and <laughs> even this old SNOM phone has more features than many new soft phones. So you have the BLF, you have the call record button, you have definable BLF. Um, I think it would be interesting if SNOM would bring back this phone or uh, make a phone virtual machine that you could load their hardware. I think that would be a really interesting thing, especially with SNOM's current OCS firmware. I think that would be um, quite attention getting to have a, a uh, virtual soft phone that can do OCS. Um, all right, SNOM soft phone. And I wanted to pop up here so you can see the download link for it snom.com forward slash download forward slash snom 360 5.3.exe. So, quick review on the snom 360 soft phone. Hope it was interesting.